Welcome to episode 12 of Making One Bill, starting as a level 3. In the last episode, we unlocked a moneymaker that we'd been working on for the past few episodes, which was the ability to be able to kill Caveheart. With the recent expansion of clue scroll rewards and the fact that the caskets are now stackable, it gave me even more incentive to camp the cave horrors and see exactly how much money I could make and whether or not I could receive any of the new clue scroll rewards. In today's episode, we will be following in the same pattern, we'll be camping the cave horrors, and at the end of the video, we will be selling off the clue scroll and the cave horror loot tab to see exactly how much we made. Before the video begins, I would like to quickly give a big shout out to our sponsor for today's video. So a massive thank you to Raid Shadow Legends. You guys are always saying to me, Rakesy, why are you only helping us out making money in game? Why are you only showing us how to progress a RuneScape account and become an absolute mammoth in the long run? What about the downtime? How do we relax? How do we have a break from all of the grindiness? Do not worry, boys. Papa Reku sorting you boys out today. Forget everything you think you know about mobile, because one of the most ambitious RPG projects of 2019 has just been released. Introducing Raid. Shadow Legends. Forget everything you think you know about a mobile game. Raid is the most immersive experience you'll find on mobile. And it can only be compared to online PC or console games in terms of graphics. And the only difference, it's completely free. And like I say, guys, you can't be free. Whether it be Torvesta and BH Worlds or Ditter Bitter and Deep Wildy. The free things in life are the best things in life. <laughs> With hundreds of champions to collect and customize, amazing storyline, awesome 3D graphics, and a special launch tournament with crazy prizes, make sure you use the link at the top of my description to claim yourself a free 50,000 silver and a free epic champion. And make sure you join my clan chat, Rakesy, in game. There he is, Black Mask 10. I will never get tired of seeing these on the floor, and they've also gone up in price. And I have one in the bank chilling right now. Oh, nothing beats seeing a Black Mask on the floor. Hello there, Mr. Casket. Thank you, thank you. It is time I sell the Black Masks because the cash stack is very low right now. And I'm running out of scales and also darts on the blowpipe. How much do these just sell for? 1 million 40k, so they're around about the same price. And as you can see, the darts are running very low. And we're also running low on potions and cannibals. Hey, there he is. I believe that's the fifth black mask we've had so far, I think. I'm not entirely sure. I'm going to have to check the log, but I think that's the fifth one we've had. Oh, I will never get tired of seeing these. That is the first time I've had two black masks in one inventory without getting a clue scroll. RNG is paying off. We would definitely do one of these. And I'm going to check our log after I finish this trip. Once I get a hard clue, we're going to see exactly how many kills of the KFARs we've had. Very nice sight to see. That is a cheeky two mil in the inventory right now. I will take it. It is time we've got ourselves a hard clue. Let's have a look at the log. Uh, I think the last time I checked this, it was maybe 2,000 kills or it might have been 3,000. It's been a while. So I'll be very curious to see how many we're on right now. 3,630, and I believe... I Honestly, I've lost track of how many black masks we've had at this point. I really don't know. We currently have six hard caskets right there. We have a clue score on the inventory. I'm not going to open these until I get another 10, and hopefully be able to make some more moolah. Oh, shit, dude! A black mask and a hard clue in the same kill. Huh. Uh, I'll take it. I will take it. No, oh, wow. I'm not even playing. I only just got back. We've just had four masks in like an hour. I'm not even joking. Because we got two masks in that one trip. We just came back here 10 minutes ago. Unfortunately, I had to drop the clue because I couldn't complete it. That's like, what, the third kill? Hey, boys. Definitely been worthwhile getting these quests done. We're collecting some fat checks right now, boys. Oh my god. I don't even know what's happening today, boys. I am on an RNG roll, and the snowball is still spinning and building momentum. Uh, I, I don't even want to log out right now. It's getting quite late. 
But I'm worried if I log out, these black masks are just gonna stop coming. I think I've had five or six masks today. What is going on with this RNG? And then every other day that I've done this, I got like one per day. We've just had five or six in the span of a few hours. Give me more, give me more. Oh my god, are you fucking kidding me? Yo, I- I am not logging out tonight. Straight up. I am not logging out tonight. <laughs> Second trip of the day with a duble mask. Can we make it a triple A? Let's see. That is unfortunate, boys. We were on for the third mask. But we just got ourselves a clue scroll on the floor there. Look at this tab right now. The six black masks, all from today. Oh, I'm happy and we've made a lot of money. If we can finish this clue, we can open 10 of these at the same time. Hey, there we go. 10 chests. Let's open them up. And 10 reward caskets. Now, the last time we did this, we opened them quite slowly. I don't know why, but I just really want to spam click them and have all of the loot on the floor and then do an inventory price check. I want to see some rare items in my inventory, so I'm just going to spam click the fuck out of these. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's see what we get. Okay. How much is this inventory? 446k. I have no idea if we got anything good there or not. And the next inventory, 345k. I don't know why, I just really, really wanted to do that. Unfortunately, we didn't get a clue which was over 200k. They average out to be about 100k by the looks of it. A little bit unfortunate, this 153k one wasn't bad. How much is this blessing worth? Oh, that's worth 90k. That was probably the big boy loot. So I had quite a lot of people that were watching me on live stream asking if this was going to be worth it in the long run. Would I profit? Would I lose money? We started today's episode with a bank wealth of 15 million and 82 range. As you can see, I'm 5k away from 85, so we've effectively gained ourselves three nice range levels. We cannoned the entire time, and we even used the blowpipe, adamant darts, and of course the scales, which cost a fair chunk, and we have profited 10 mil GP. Did I answer your question, boys? Yes. I was planning on making a lot of money through doing this, and I knew that I would. And to top it all off, we killed just under 4,000 cave horrors. I'm not entirely sure how many black masks I managed to get, but I will have the figure on the screen right now. So if you are curious, overall, I'm a big fan of the cave horrors, I have to say. The bank's clearly shown that we've made some good moolah doing this. We have six black masks here right now. A nice looking thing, these black masks. I absolutely love them. Obviously, the best item we managed to get from the clue scroll being just under a mil, the Bandos Dehyde boots, a lot of alcohols, and little random things here and there. So the loot from the cave horrors itself was just over 10 mil with the current black masks I had and the hard clue scroll rewards came to just under 3.5 mil. Bearing in mind the clue scroll rewards may be slightly less than they were previously in the last couple of weeks due to the expansion of the clue scroll rewards a lot of the items including the pages have dramatically dropped in price. However as you can see in my inventory we managed to walk away with a grand total of 11 million gold. We've just got done with some Nightmare Zone. You can see we're 85 range, very close to 86 in fact. So I wanted to imbue my Slayer Helmet and my Salve Amulet E. Salve Amulet E I now, which is gonna be huge when it comes to the Revenants. This is gonna be such a huge boost in DPS and it's just overall gonna help us make a lot more money. We only have 43,000 points, so we have quite a lot to go until we get the imbued Slayer Helmet, which I'm not gonna do right now, but I certainly will be in the future. The reason why this moneymaker, I'm so keen on it, is because not only am I getting really good experience per hour in range with the cannon and the blowpipe. We're also profiting, and don't get me wrong, we're not making money like I would be at Zora or at the Revenants, but I'm getting constant experience and I'm constantly making money as well. And to top it all off, it's not the kind of grind where you're doing the same thing over and over again. As soon as I get a hard clue scroll, we leave this place, we come back, rinse and repeat, and there's always a chance of getting a nice one mil boost. Be in the black mask. You're not only gonna be training your account, but you're also gonna be profiting while doing so, and it's risk-free. There's a black mask right there. That is exactly what I'm talking about. Like you're gonna make money as you go and you're getting good experience. You guys are gonna hate me. I've had so many black masks now. It's actually beyond the joke. How many kills an hour am I getting? Honestly, I don't know, but we are getting 
approximately two black masks per trip at the moment. I'm so sorry for anybody that's had to go like insanely dry on these black masks. The Duble inventory. Two masks, one inventory. Pretty much standard at this point with this Count's RNG. Not to say that I... Oh my god. What the fuck is going on? Guys, we just got three black masks. We've got three black masks in probably less than 200 KC. What is going on? Three in one trip, guys. I, I don't even know if that's like a record. That I've never seen that in my life. It's... Oh my god. Oh, guys, I don't know what to say anymore. This is just getting beyond ridiculous. Another black mask, fellas. Another cheeky one mil. RN Jesus is smiling down upon this account. He's loving it. He's loving the progress. He's helping me along the way. Oh, is that 86 range? Nice. Four more levels until we get to our first level 90. That's pretty sick. We just got 80 combat. I didn't even realize. Oh, that's cool. We can actually see the cave horrors are like yellow now. That's a really nice little thing to see. Look at that. Gimme, gimme, gimme! I've had so many black masks in the last few days. I, I'm being truly spoiled right now. We collecting some fat checks. Why do we keep getting that, man? Dude, I hate this one. I've lost so- This is like the last step. It's the last step. I need 63 fishing to be able to do this. Very unfortunate. Uh, I am gonna go ahead and I'm gonna have to drop that clue scroll. I'm definitely gonna have to get 63 fishing. That was on the fifth step. All right, first one, 72K. Not the best. 95k, free rune long swords. God, just give me one which is a mil plus, please. 350, ooh! Oh, that's new! That is the Obby Moore ornament kit. That might actually sell for a bit of money. That's a really good one. I'm gonna have to go throw that in the G and see what that's worth. What was the average sold at? 400 and, all right, we'll put it in for the price, which is up there. There we go, 425K. Pretty damn good, I'm not gonna lie. I will take it. I think it's time we finalize selling off a few of the items that we have remaining from the cave horror grind it paid off incredibly well there's no doubt about that we got very lucky with everything especially the black masks that is everything sold funnily enough the black mask sold for 955k so we sold yesterday for 1,052k and that was six of them in one day they were dropped over 100k which is kind of disappointing although i'm not all too surprised because i did upload the video yesterday oh well as you can see the bank is a whopping 27 mil 950k we'll call it 28 mil when we first started this grind we were 82 range we're now 86 and the bank was just under 15 mil total meaning that from the cave horror grind we made a total of 18 mil 4740 cave horrors and the moment of truth how many black masks we managed to get and i already know that we got really lucky let's take a look 15 15 black masks. Holy shit. We shouldn't have even got 10 in that, Casey. I got very lucky. I'm not gonna lie. And these sold on average for 1 mil pop. So that's 15 mil in black masks alone. Absolutely phenomenal. This moneymaker paid for itself. And we also got some really fast, good range experience. We're almost at 4 mil XP, 86 range. The account is coming along strong. We're even 80 combat now. I am gonna go ahead now and I need to get myself some strength training done. So I'm gonna get 70 strength for the sand crabs. Fortunately, I missed the level for 70 strength. As you can see, See, we're training a bit of attack right now. I'm just going to be AFK in the sand crabs for a little while. I'm not entirely sure how long I'm going to be doing attack for, but I may be here for a considerable amount of time. I might be getting 65, possibly 70. It depends how long I decide to spend here. If I do AFK until 70, it's not a bad thing, because then when I go to the Warriors Guild, I can grab myself a whip and we can get ourselves a defender while training defense. Jack over here was getting crashed a minute ago. He's got his wizard hat on and his full dragon with a whip and obby cape. We got warrior 1888 here. Looking fierce, ready to crash my spot. <laughs> here it is, boys. The big 7-0. Get me off of bot island. Let's get out of here. We can now equip the Abyssal Whip. That's such a nice milestone. 84 combat finishing up. Let's us go and grab ourselves 
A huge upgrade. Here he is, the man himself. Something about the whip that just looks so satisfying. Yo, holy, we're looking good, man. We're coming together. Slap it on deflect, and now it's time to get ourselves 70 defense. And there you have it, guys. That will conclude episode 12. We made a lot of progress in the last two episodes. We managed to go from 82 to 86 range, all while profiting at the same time and making ourselves a very nice 18 mil from the cave horrors. Our melee stats have now been trained up. We are currently sat at 62 defense, 70 attack and strength. The abyssal whip has been equipped and the next few episodes are going to be drastically different from anything I've done before. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure you leave it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you are new to the channel. And I will see you very soon.